What's good, everybody? It's Croc342 coming back with another live stream. Hopefully everything's good with everybody. Another Sunday morning. Oh, bright and early. Um, this video may not be uploaded within the same date, but uh, it will be uploaded. <clears throat> but uh, hopefully everything's good with everybody. Try to uh, straighten this mic out as best as I can. So, hopefully. Sounds pretty decent. Plus, I got my track IR back up and running again. Didn't even know that the cord wasn't plugged in right. So, all right, it goes. <clears> oh, <throat> well, everything's good. Try to get some truck in here. Um. Okay, here we go. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know why this truck does that every time start up but it does it so I had to tolerate it a little bit guess that's just the beauty of dealing with certain situations I guess all right um mm. I guess LBS is making flaky again. <clears throat> like the throttle be stuck or something, I don't know what it be doing. But it is what it is. Just dropped that load off uh, not too long ago. Y'all will probably see that video. You know, it won't have any commentary in it, but dropped that load off. Now I'm dropping, picking this up, load up. Uh, where is it taking us? Uh, it's going to Flagstaff, going to the machinery spot. Uh, this is one of, um, blades, loads from his, uh, tow truck. So, and that's what you get with that. So, alright, giving us three hours to get it, the job done. I did change up some things, I did get an update. I might have to go on ahead and change my, uh, my, um, suicide knob because for some reason it's not, the texture's not showing up on it, so I'm going to go and take care of that while I'm here. And I'm going to disconnect the truck because I had a hard time trying to hook up to this truck. Decided to bring the Viper 2 back out again. That axle. Definitely gonna need some comments on how this mic sounds. Um, I did try to test it, you know, the best I could. I wanna always just do a, uh, you know, upload a video without a without any commentary, but sometimes it happens. Alright, let's go ahead and swap this out. Plus, I can get some luck. get some of this repair off. I mean, this. Oh, no. Game freaking crashed. Oh, man. This is interesting. I wonder why I did that. This is the stuff that I have to tolerate. It's crazy. Now, if I didn't. wasn't in here to talk to y'all, I wouldn't even. y'all wouldn't even have to see what I deal with day in and day out. When they come out of these mods. <clears throat> Oh man, look at my cord. I meant to make sure this cord is and not in the way. Let's see if we can start back up again. More likely the game has probably updated again. And I'm still waiting on Blade to update his stuff because I had paid some money to him, you know, for his little uh, mods some time ago. So everybody else, I just ain't been in the mood to be paying for that. <clears throat> Let me start up again. It's almost eight o'clock, so I'm gonna have to try to get this run done. 
before I gotta make some moves to, this morning. Yeah, but at least I, the mic is open. I'm able to talk to y'all, you know, communicate, whatever. Um, still in the middle of some things, trying to get some things done. Had to stay offline for a minute. <clears throat> Had some conflicts with that. Still need to get some other things situated with that. So, yeah, it is. Life happens. It always happens. <sighs> And I didn't have no problem with this after I dropped off that load, so I don't know. Maybe it's something wrong with the uh, with my truck. I don't know. It's always something going on in here because <clears throat> the game is always updating, and that's another thing what I'd be looking at with the mods. Mods are alright, but when you pay for mods and then they don't be updated in time in a timely fashion, then it, it feels some type of way. So just like I said, I buy ball blades. So it wasn't like I never uh, uh, paid into somebody's stuff, you know, but <clears throat> it can be irritating. I mean, seriously irritating when you buy something and then it's never updated. But I understand their side because they have to wait on SES to create those things, create those scenarios or whatever it is. So it is what it is Um, to, you know, since I'm on the subject, I normally don't be on the subject, but uh, we've been doing some farm sound. Now we got the uh, seasons, even though this is off a topic, you know, I don't really have nothing else to talk about other than stuff that has to do with the game in general. I haven't been playing this in a minute. Well, I played this for a minute. Well, I, I couldn't even play it at all, you know, because everything was like within the cloud. <clears throat> so I didn't want to cause any other problems. So I just left it alone. I was able to get some other life uh, events done. I still got a lot more to do in, um, in a small amount of time. So, yeah, but other than that, you know how that is. I'm sure y'all know how that is. You know, let's see if we can get this load to load up again. Shouldn't have been a problem with this load. And maybe it needs to be updated. I don't know. Yeah. All right, maybe I should just go on ahead and just drop the load off. <laughs> I'll, I won't even worry about it. Now, y'all just going to excuse this issue right here. Now, my track I already is working, so. And then it looks like it's off track still. I don't know what it's doing. Here we go. I think it's on track. It's just it's always something. Now, I don't know why this thing is. Why is this like this? I don't know why. I don't know. Yeah, Y'all gotta excuse that. I'm gonna have to try to adjust this thing. And that's now that's another reason why I didn't constantly wasn't using it because it's always something kooky with it. <sighs> yeah, it's always something kooky with it. the whole oh my wheel uh <laughs> that's why I'm like what the heck is going on that was me <laughs> okay uh, like I said I'm always got some issues in here all right I'm gonna try to wreck around with this track IR but I might have to shut it off for a minute because it's too I think it's a little too bit sensitive now and let's start to okay up. here we go I kind of like the way ooh, it didn't start up. <laughs> this is the Viper 2. Back in the Viper 2, I was driving another truck, but uh, you gonna roll with this one for a minute. <clears throat> and uh, let's see, I can't at least move my other camera around. I don't know why that's like that, and more likely the Viper. Well, this Viper might have to be updated because I know this is Renee's uh, with the add-on wrecker body. Which I wish this thing actually, because there is some that actually have uh, another 521 and 
the C500 actually have automated uh, uh, booms. That would be something nice to you. All right, let's get back on here. Let's get rolling. I'm not going to worry about the the issues. We're going to try to get going. So before we have any more other conflicts, let's try to get it right back into this truck. Try not to hit nothing. I mean, I don't hit things on purpose. You got some some drivers that do it on purpose. Turn left. And I'm gonna have to use this other thing. I should've. Here we go. Maybe I'm gonna have to use the track R. I don't know. And it look like I'm all over the road. Sorry about that, y'all. I'm still new with this. It ain't like I can't drive, but I'm using other things and I might have to turn that trike R down a little bit because I'm using it with uh, I might have to, I know straight. what I'm going to do I'm gonna turn down the camera uh, what is that uh, there's a little camera thing that you use that you can adjust here uh, it's already 8 o'clock so Got 45 minutes to get this run done without any conflict. So, oh, let me turn this back on. I forgot to turn that back on because had issues with that. Oh, it's right here. The uh, steer camera rotation. That's what I ha have going. So, I'm gonna turn that down a little bit, and I think I'm gonna keep the map, the the camera movement factor. You see, I might be able to turn it slightly down just to see exactly what happens because normally I have it <clears throat> turned up so simulating me my head moving around and stuff like that now because of the camera angles and the way I have it set up I did I know I had some people ask me I don't know if I only had one person ask me on YouTube Oh, how I have my um, uh, what is that called? Oh, if you have triple monitors, you can actually go into your config file and what is that? Uh, in your documents folder, and then all you do is change the multi monitor aspect. Oh, I didn't even look that way. Oh, oop, forgot. <laughs> I'm gonna try to take it easy with this load as best as I can. Um, my lights on. Okay, they are. It'd be just my luck to get pulled over or get a ticket. Um, I notice my gears, all my gears, isn't working. It must be some kind of kind of flip somewhere. Um, get ready to turn left. You you have to put turn it to two, and it actually makes this monitor actually sit into default turn to whatever right. your. Uh, um, like my monitor is 2400 by what is it? No, it's not 2400, it's 1050. I forgot what my monitor is in the middle. Well, your, whatever your monitor is, is in the middle, it automatically will be that by default, <clears throat> okay? But since I have all three monitors, well, I think it's 20, what oh, I know what it is 1024 by 768. And my actual um, my monitors across all the way across all three is 3072 by 768. So I know some people all that may have uh, 57 by 57 something, whatever, whatever, whatever. But it's everybody's is different. It just depends on what kind of monitors you got. Because <clears throat> you got 24, you got 32, you got whatever. You know, so you only go by the numbers that the thing actually tell you. And that's how you go, you know. And in the end, once you come good into the, to the, uh, I know the last video I did on YouTube, uh, I did explain a little bit how to, to do that. But once you set it up, you have to go back into the, um, your um, 
your settings and then you set up your resolution and then what it will do it was downscale so when it downscales and I'm gonna show you all the downscale thing situation all right we actually go in and stop we we'll just press the menu now you see how it just downscaled it downscaled perfectly okay now when I go into game it goes all the way across my screens even though my other screens will be dark but they still are working across the board you know across all screen well the resolution is, is across all three um, uh, monitors that you have <clears throat> so um, I think my um, family's waking up uh, it's gonna get noisy in here a little bit and I hope y'all don't mind the background noise unfortunately and I'm just getting up to get ready for uh, today so um, but I wanted to come in to actually talk anyway a little bit about what I've been doing and whatnot. Um, so across the screens, that's the way it goes. And then once you actually go out and go into the actual game, then it actually pulls you across all three of your screens. That's why I can see all the way across my screens, which is perfect for a multi uh, for, uh, uh, MP, which is a uh, trucker's MP, stuff like that and it looks it's a clean look because you can actually use your month your uh if you have uh, uh what is that called uh, webcam you have a good nice enough webcam or you can have a gopro and it will show all of that across the across all three screens so all right we got two hours on two hours and 52 minutes on this run uh, I don't know if anybody want to see the outside. I can end show the outside of the truck. Now, one thing I like, the lights do work on the back of the rig. It's good. I want to figure that out too. There's just so much to try to figure out. This modding stuff is just, it's just interesting. Up now, I mean, farm sim now, farm sim 19. Now we got snow, now we can play in the snow. Got a couple videos on that too. For some reason, my videos are not uploading properly on Facebook. I have to find out why it's not doing that. So you have to play your role and understand that I'm having some conflict with that. So I may just post a link of my videos from YouTube via YouTube to allow you to see what I'm still doing. So you know I'll be holding strong at 46 miles an hour I would be driving the stick but uh because I have this mic in the way plus um uh my little leg issue is it's still uh it's still there it's just that I got to kind of just take it easy a little bit I don't really use the leg too much other than playing drums but I did drive stick. Never really bothered me, so I may have to start doing some other things. I had to bring my bike out and stuff like that. I think I'm going to get me a chain and lock so I can start taking my bikes other places and stuff like that. One day I'm gonna try to see if I can go. I tried to go in the Z, Z modeler. All that stuff is connected to the internet. It's so funny. But uh, I'm gonna try to. I got a video. The mob head 780. Then exit right. And he has a uh, video on how to actually go into your. Um, exit oh, right. You gotta get ready to stop. Here we go. I forgot to hit the J. But I'm glad I had the extra jakes. These loads be very heavy. Turn left. Y'all have to tell me what y'all like, what y'all will want me to do a little bit more or better. I mean, if y'all give me comments, then I don't know what to do. 
But uh, I like the screenshots. I like the way the screen actually turns and switches. And switch. So I can do that or I can stay inside the truck. I don't know. You have to give me some feedback on that. I did give some comments to those that did on Facebook. I know some people was asking about the regular truck. Um, though, for those information, for those individuals, um, normally this truck is automatically a 6x4, 6x, it's the basic um, uh, traffic configurations. This is just an added body that you can get. And uh, you can get it in the sleeper mode or you can get it in the day cab mode. Just something that uh, one of the modders that actually put it on his um, credit to uh, uh, Renee Nate. Renee Nate, some, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, he actually created this. Oh, yeah, actually added, took it from off another truck and put it on there. But, you know, I mean, who doesn't do that? I mean, I don't see a lot of modders actually. Um, cut and paste I mean it's easier I mean who who's gonna rebuild a whole truck that doesn't make any sense Not unless you want to you know <clears throat> I mean I guess you want brownie points for that I mean it is what it is as long as you're adding more content to the game fine by me you know um, I know my other truck that I have because I have a W900B record that I did run and um, I have to make sure I make a note of that what that truck was and I think I forgot to write what it was and I had to put that into the description because that was a different truck from this truck and a lot of people think all the trucks are the same no they're not all the same I'm not running always the, all, the same trucks all the time but I'm gonna actually re uh, uh, edit uh, what I wrote on some of my titles when it comes down to the records so y'all know there's a different record from another record so like I have a W900A I have a W900B uh, this is a Viper Viper 2 a 389 record I have a uh, Mac record I have a whole pretty much a whole slew of records that I've been um, dealing with the only record I paid for was Blaze 388 record and um, so far that's been doing okay I guess and uh, I know Blade has some things up in the upper sleeve. I did give him some some more pointers on regards to what he could add to. Um, and maybe I might have to screenshot what I had already wrote and actually put it uh, in a post so other modders could actually create those things. But they're gonna make game for it. You know, that's what that's the whole point. I mean, if they bring content. I t nine times uh, ten, they want to get paid for it, so I respect that. That's no problem. I don't expect anybody to always do something for free all the time. Also, um, uh, shout out to American Truck Syndicates, uh, my buddy Pockets, uh, also doing some great work out in the community. Also, um, uh, Gear Jammer, he actually has some add-ons that he are actually selling out. Um, they're, I think they're five dollars a piece. There's one for 389, and adds other, you know, other little tit, other little tidbits and little accessories that you can put on the truck. I think plus you can put an add axle on it or something like that. But um, every, let me see what else can you do? Oh, uh, the 389. He has one for the 389 and one for the W900. Uh, I know it's five dollars a piece and then if you get both of them it's eight dollars which i understand i might you know consider that i don't know because i think i mean I, I think that that goes along with the updates um added too because you can add more lights more uh, another axle stuff like that um i don't know what scs is hold up with uh, us getting some more uh another uh, chassis configuration i actually seen a truck and i couldn't get a I couldn't get a video of that truck to save my life and I seen it it was in the neighborhood and it actually it was a, a low boy it had all these scrubs on it was a nice truck so we got an uh, hour and 13 minutes on the run now um, I wanted to try to see if I can find some videos on that truck but a lot of times a lot of configuration you don't see on YouTube 
and sometimes you got to see out in the open because you'd be surprised what's out here you know but he had double scrolls on in the uh in the low boy he had lights all on the front i think it was a uh a kenworth t660 and if i wasn't um uh, occupied i would have went down there and got some videos of the truck you know i don't think the guy would have mind me taking pit videos of the truck but it was nice you know it would have been a beautiful thing beautiful content for me to actually share for me uh be alive or whatever uh to see to show y'all what's out here you know because i know ses is in europe and they still learning some stuff which is they're in the process of finishing up uh youtube i mean now you uh utah and they've been showing content for that so sooner or later probably within a month or two they'll be probably un unleashing that one and I don't know what the next state from there, but hopefully they'll we'll get two more states before the year's out. You know, so they're gonna be hopefully they result to two or three states a year, which uh, probably help them move it along real quick. All right, we got 53 minutes on this load. I don't know if y'all been able to see uh, any new. Um, other um, new stuff in the game. I've been trying to keep an open eye and an open mindset to see what's new. Because I know we have a street sweeper that's in the game now. I'm waiting for some tow trucks to be showing up or some records. Because I don't know how they doing these loads. I mean, dealing with these events and they ain't got no trucks towing the wreckages away. I'm seeing all kinds of other trucks but I don't see no tow trucks you know I try to there we go try to show this screen for a minute I'm holding at 33 and about the I try not to do a lot of speeding I try to show you all that little content now one thing I did tell Blade about, he said because of this truck was, a, uh, uh, if you look in the back, there's no lights in the back. It's supposed to be lights in the back. It's supposed to be a light bar or something like that. And that's something that we actually have on those trader truck, uh, deck trucks that we have. And, you know, lighting is very important when it comes down to trucks, you know, and he know that himself. You know, so it wasn't nothing new that I didn't bring to his attention, you know. Because even though that low is uh is disabled, you still have to have lighting on it for safety reasons. So I did give him some pointers or whatever, and um, I'll probably share within the community what I was talking about so people can see exactly what I was actually posting. And I'll probably upload. I mean, upload it as a little small video so people can see what I was actually talking to Blade about. So maybe they can get some more ideas. Some maybe some content free content paid content or whatever you have whatever you have as I understand it costs money it costs time it costs effort to do whatever you want to do I know I'm gonna have to get rid of that at um, y'all definitely gonna have to excuse that suicide now that's suicide now but it's very irritating I think that might be the chrome one I think that's what that is I know the chrome one and the wood one has been having issues with the texture conflicts and I gotta figure out that and I was within the coding and more like that the game has updated a couple times because I think it updated again Stay on me right. while I was Stay actually playing right. the game so all right we're getting ready to drop off uh, Exit right. I know I'm already uh, long in the, in the video anyway I'm gonna try to start shortening these videos a little bit but sometimes I can't do that Turn right. I, mean, I can cut the video in half, and, but that's just a lot more work I have to do. And then also, I got that uh, heavy duty bumper on the back of here, I mean, on the front of here. I think I'm going to stay out for a minute. we almost over. It's Y'all, 10 minutes. It's our drive outside for a moment, but y'all see that. And I guess I can turn this.
this out. But he did a good job on these trucks, even though, you know, they're basic trucks. Now here's another load that Rene actually took because all he did was take um, a Nitro Dax 77, I think that's his name. He actually created some uh, truck loads for the wreckers, which was fine. And oh well, they were technically for trucks because you can actually take a six by four and actually tow it, tow this truck. Get so right. we tow with those, uh, you know, with those trucks. So. I'm liking this GPS because I don't necessarily have to have the map up. I can listen because this is what I do on. Uh, you see that sign right there? That's a perfect sign. I like that. No overweight trucks. I'm going to take a picture of that. A lot of people don't even understand that that concept. I'm going to try to get closer to that so people can understand. I like those uh, little sign it just stuff like that. Very important. For those that want to be on the road, stuff like that, you got to pay a statistics signage. A lot of things been going on. A lot of truckers been making a lot of mistakes on the road. Don't not looking and they making sure that they are watching where they are when they come down to these trucks. You got to be very careful. And because since I, since my background is driving we are safe and sound. Uh, vehicles that are that require a CDL. And mine is a technically a uh, pass endorsement, so you know I definitely have to pay attention and watch what I do on the road because they're watching. All right, I don't know. Maybe able to get this in there. Let's see, I just see if I can get turned around. I can kind of stay inside a little bit. For those that like to see the inside, like see me actually drive the truck, which I can do it all. I'm not no novice. <laughs> I do this for a living. <laughs> I just don't drive rigs. I drive passenger buses. So I have to I have to pay attention to all this stuff. A lot of people don't understand. CDL is C CDL. I don't really care what you're driving. CDL is still CDL. <clears throat> And uh, this is what you are content with. I mean, could have to deal with. Ooh, my headset is falling off. But uh, you have to contend with this kind of stuff because a lot of times I thought this was the big facility. This is the smaller facility. But this is still is not bad because the thing about it is you have to understand that American Truck Simulator is a challenging game. It's not a game created for you to not know how to actually do certain things. So. You have to respect that. So let's see. I'm just glad this wasn't a full load. Man, this would have been real interesting trying to get this in here. I'm just glad I got my track R up and running still because I was about to be sick. If that thing stopped working. deal with on the road that's why I said y'all sure y'all want to get on this road with me to deal with this kind of madness and I'm on private property and I deal with it yeah that is very interesting right there Oh, okay. Let's see. Did I get past that? Okay. Luckily. Uh, can't even see. Oh, this thing is moving somewhere. I'm going to have to... Y'all got to excuse me a little bit. Because I can't really see like I need to see. I might have to lock this. Uh, a lot of my... 
a lot of this driving on the outside from the farm sound. But a lot of people still can't even drive like this. It's a challenge. But if it wasn't these other vehicles in the way, I probably can see a little bit. Uh, oh, there we go. Now we can kind of see a little bit. Let's see. I'm trying to see. That's why I, I, I created the Tracker R. I the Tracker R on because I wanted to see exactly what this load was doing. Because this is what you got to drive. You got to drive for the load. Drive for the load. Now you can understand this is not as easy as you think. I'm gonna see if I can actually keep my seat watching this mirror. I'm getting close. Let's see, are we there? We almost there. There we go. Oh, let me move up a little bit. That this thing want to carry itself on. It has an interesting off track. <laughs> not bad. Not bad at all. Now what I wish I could do is switch the configuration back to 6x4 then I can pull that other load right there which I wouldn't mind driving it. Now that other one I can go on ahead and grab because I actually customized these loads. Okay I'm probably, no, I'm almost there. Oh man not bad look at that. Wow whip man. Sometimes I can do good, you know. I didn't did it enough. There we go. Let's see if we can get that green. Let's see if we can get that green. Come on, give me that green. There we go. Perfect. All right, not bad, not bad at all. I'm gonna try to get a screenshot of this. Y'all don't mind. Hopefully, y'all don't mind that because uh, a lot of this stuff I don't get a chance to get. That's an interesting. Let me see. I'm gonna turn around this way. Try to break it out. I want to get these two. I want to get these two loads. They won't even let me do it. Well, I can get one one of these, and I can't even show my load like I want to. Let's see. I'm gonna try to turn around, spin it around, try to get some of it. Can't get all of it, but it'd be nice if I could. All right, got to hit the air brakes. There we go. And I forgot to bring the thing back up. Cause okay, well. All right, time to drop this load down. We made it. We made it. We made it. Without any damage or nothing. Ain't bad. I'm a little crooked a little bit. I'm still in the lines. You know, and, it, and that's all that matters. As long as you get that green light, you good. Alright, let's drop this. Oh, and we were late. I knew they was going to try to play me. And I guarantee you, look at 23 minutes. And they wanted me to zoom the load up there. They always kill me. That's why I said it. the game is always set up for failure. Um, a lot of times these loads are late. Uh, we did drop off broken uh, 389 delivered from Phoenix to um, uh, Flagstaff. Um, they did uh, base reward was 388. I mean, what? I don't know why I'm talking about 300. Uh, 183 miles. They gave us. Uh, 11,881 this is for those that may be new to the game that so you can understand with the breakdown because this game actually breaks everything down everything down so to get to a level 163 if I actually did that in the real world I wouldn't even got it took me probably years to get to that so if you expect to play this game and start from scratch you're gonna get bored you know you're gonna want more stuff or whatever you know, so uh, level 162, uh, 11,281. The experience is what gets you, uh, the XP is what gets you to be able to uh, pull more loads or different loads, or different configuration loads, tankers, 
uh, heavier load, stuff like that. Because uh, we start from the entry level, which is level one, which is nothing, which is a newbie or you be on newbie. And a lot of times you don't even have a truck. You have to drive other people trucks to, to get money. So a lot of times people don't look at that. But I am going to show y'all that while I'm in here. Uh, let's see. Um, so uh, hopefully. Um, my wife is up. Try to close that door a little bit so y'all can't hear her. Uh, you know, I'll let the key is a little bit, but um, uh, the skills rank is six. A lot of times, I notice people that play the game don't really explain all this, and this is all broken down. You know, uh, driven distance is 283, uh, time taken is six hours and 14 minutes. Uh, vehicle, I mean, fuel consumed 43 gallons. And a lot of people don't look at that as real stuff. I mean, that's real information that is in the game, but it's real, it's about as real as you can get it. Because you, I mean, when you're working for yourself and you're trying to, you got to monetize stuff in order for to get or uh, moderate stuff or uh, uh, watch because. In the real world, it's it's like that, and it's worse sometimes because you're trying to get fuel, trying to come pay attention to your fuel and stuff like that. But uh, urgent delivery bonus skill set rank six, so I did get a, a urgency bonus for that, um, and I got all the XPs. Well, I got all the um, the um, they may put a school thing in here. I'm surprised they didn't put a training thing in this game yet. Because a lot of guy, a lot of folks that play the game need training because they always crashing and stuff, or they don't understand the concept of the game. So if you actually go through that training, you will learn that you will understand the whole concept of actually driving. So, um, and it gives you a give you a, 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 a nice little outlook on that. Okay, so. Um, this is pretty much it. I got to have to cut cut off. Uh, maybe I'll come in another time and explain all this. But it's an interesting concept. Uh, late penalties, all that stuff. Very, uh, very important stuff. Uh, this is mainly your progress history right here. This is what I was trying to tell you all about. And it starts all the way at the first. See, you know. So you can imagine how many total time games spent. 8,110 days, 20 hours. So that's a lot of time. Free roam distance, 20 million miles. So I didn't put a lot of miles on this truck, you know, just by doing whatever or whatever. So uh, that's uh, a lot, you know. So I'm gonna actually cut off because uh, my wife just pretty much gave me a heads up on what's going on for the day. So I need to cut off. So hopefully y'all uh, don't hesitate to hit a little like those on YouTube, uh, uh, those on uh, also on uh, Facebook. Don't hesitate to give a like, subscribe, all the, all that jazz, and I'll catch y'all on the next video. Crack three, four, two's out. Yeah, have a good one.